Like, I, it's, it, it baffles me how some people will make fun of you for eating a salad on your lunch break at work. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It's like, it, yo, and it be fat people that be laughing at fit people for eating salads on their lunch break at work. Yo, it be dudes that's broke laughing at dudes that's willing to work on their business instead of go out drinking. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like, Look, the bottom line is people don't want to see you succeed. Not your friends, not your family. It may be shocking, but just accept it. Doing the thing that's going to better you as a person usually means you're not going to have a lot of friends and you're not going to fit in with the group. Fitting in with the group is all about doing what the group does. Most people are stupid. Most people aren't particularly ambitious. Most people don't have the discipline to correct their flaws. So, no, they don't want to see you doing what they know they'll never do. Yeah, they'll make fun of you for eating a salad at lunch because they know they're a fat tub of lard and they're never going to lose weight. And here's the thing. They'll laugh at you and make fun of you. But when you say something back, now they want to fight. Yeah, a lot of people are just pathetic. I, I honestly can't stand the idea of fitting into a group. I'm disgusted by the idea of fitting into a group. I mean, you basically make yourself a target. If you're doing something outside of what everybody else is doing, all the attention is going to be on you and everybody's going to have an opinion about you. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like what? <laughs> Sometimes people will literally make fun of you for doing things that is going to make you win in life. And we were talking about this earlier about how dudes would be laughing at when I was fat and I'm running, right? And I decided I ain't going to smoke weed no more. I'm going to run and be a, a better version of me. People used to laugh at me. Oh, look at them. Look at them running. <laughs> what they, you know what I'm saying? Like, People will literally laugh at you for doing things that are going to make you better. And if you're young and impressionable, you will literally stop doing things that make you better in order to feel approved by losers. Facts. People need to feel good about being low lives. So how do you feel good about being a low life? Make fun of the people who are upstanding, respectable people. I could be out with my friends and we could be having a blast. But the minute that my man calls, hello? You say what you want me to come with? I'm out. Me and Turner. up. I'm out. Period. They be like, where you going? To my man. To my man. Uh, you always with him. You was just with him. I, I don't care. I'm going to be with him. And I'm going to be with him again after that. And again after that. And again after that. Because that's my man. The bottom line is you're going to just have to stop hanging around them. That don't sound like the type of energy you need to be around to keep your man. This is one of those times in your life where you just have to sit back and analyze and do some inventory. Like what type of people do I really have in my life? And are they contributing to my progression? Are they helping me get to where I want to be mentally, spiritually, emotionally, as far as my relationships, just everything. Most of the time when you do that inventory, you'll see that most people aren't helping you get to where you want to be. They're actually trying to hold you back. You got to cut people off all the time. Trim the fat. You know how many women lost their good relationship because they were trying to follow behind their friends or listen to their friends? What people don't tell you about changing their life and becoming this awesome version of themselves is that it freaking sucks. There is so much resistance and the reason is because our brains want to keep us in the same routine with familiarity and safety and comfort. It doesn't want us to do anything that isn't the norm. So next time you feel that resistance when you're trying to make a change, know that it is completely normal and through that resistance is your next level. And up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. She literally set up a thirst trap and recorded it so she can catch somebody looking so she could throw a little fit and act like she's a victim and these guys are so evil for looking at her. This woman actually got ran off of TikTok and I love it. The cops could have came and he could have got popped all over this dumb shit. <laughs> Do you need something? Do you need something? Do you need something? 
I just, I can't stand arrogant, egotistical people. I can't stand them. They're the worst. You can't be a good person and have a big ego. You just can't. It's one of those instant disqualifiers. Just because somebody glances at you briefly when taking your pump cover off doesn't give you the right to post a video on social media labeling them as a pervert. This has consequences. This can have a serious effect on somebody's livelihood, their reputation, their family. It's not something to take lightly. They don't care. All they care about is attention and projecting high status. They don't care who lives they ruin. Women will ruin lives to either get attention or get out of trouble or get out of taking accountability for something she did wrong and not lose one wink of sleep about it. See, this is why some guys just go over the top with it. Yeah, I was looking at you, you stupid. What you gonna do about it? Shut the fuck up. See, this is why some men go to that level with women. And I'm not saying you should do that, but I get it. I totally get it. Cause it's like, that's the only thing they'll respect if you really buck up at them.